So in part two of this video series, we're gonna look at understanding the new Facebook Challenge funnel without Facebook fundraising, because that's the big thing we need to understand. We need to understand, okay, what is different with this news from Meta that they are cutting the, the fundraising tools in um, in Ireland. So uh, first of all, let's just, let's just remember the original Facebook Challenge funnel. So a funnel, it's just simply maybe maybe you want to call it a journey or a flow, but it's the way that um, that a uh, a participant or our our target audience progresses through with us from when they first see the ad all the way through to um, to their fundraiser. And um, if we simplify it down, essentially the the Facebook Challenge Funnel, which is the original Facebook Challenge Funnel, which really hasn't changed that that much since 2018, which is incredible is um, you go from Facebook ads, you, we use the Facebook lead forms, uh, which are the instant forms that happen just, just from the ad. This then neatly on the, on the confirmation page of the lead form drives people into Facebook groups easily. And then from within your Facebook group, uh, you would use the Give Panel registration form with the one-click fundraising. Uh, that would, in one click, help your, help, um, uh, your participants, your registrants, uh, get their Facebook fundraiser. And so that is the um, is the age old funnel. This is the funnel that is still making tens of millions of pound of uh, uh, of euros every month, okay, across the world. Uh, there's only one thing that has been impacted by this change um, with Facebook fundraising tools in Ireland, and that is the Facebook fundraiser. So the new Irish Facebook Challenge funnel looks very, very similar. You'll notice Facebook ads have not changed at all. Facebook lead forms have not changed. Facebook groups haven't changed. Our one-click registration form now that we've integrated with iDonate, that hasn't changed. The only thing that has changed is where the fundraiser actually sits. Um, does it sit on Facebook and have all the benefits of sitting on Facebook? Or does it sit on a third, away from Facebook on a third-party platform with all the benefits of not being on Facebook? And that's really the, 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 the difference. So, uh, and it turns out there's actually like, there's, there's the differences is there's good differences and there's also bad differences. So let's have a look at, at that. Oh, before I show you the good and bad differences, one of one of the things that's interesting about this is you can also use this with Instagram. Uh, you can distribute your campaign to Instagram with Instagram ads, drive that direct give panel registration forms one click because you don't need to focus on groups and then create a fundraiser, which is actually a new thing that we can add on to campaigns and we're seeing success with this uh, that we didn't have before. So this is actually a benefit uh, as well. So in, this can unlock Instagram uh, as well. So, so that's the benefit of, of switching from Facebook fundraising, which didn't really work very well on Instagram, to, um, to, to the iDonate fundraisers. So what is the difference? I think, I think all this comes down to the question, what is the difference between Facebook fundraisers and iDonate fundraisers? That's the difference you want to know because the rest of the funnel is exactly the same. And there's really two main differences. The first is Facebook fundraisers do have a higher activation rate. By activation rate, we mean, so people come through the registration form, pretty much everyone creates a fundraiser now because of our one click solution. They just click the submit and activate fundraiser. Um, so 99 out of 100 people do that kind of thing. So, so pretty much um, everyone who registers also creates a fundraising page. So the activation rate really is, how many people have actually gone on to raise any money? So how many people gone to raise at least one donation? That's the activation rate. Uh, and the activation rate is actually higher on Facebook fundraisers. So more people actually go and activate the fundraiser and raise money on Facebook. And that is because essentially Facebook fundraisers get shared in Facebook automatically. So the user doesn't have to decide whether to share them on Facebook. If they all, 100% of Facebook fundraisers get shared. And that's really why they have a higher act, a higher activation rate. However, because of that, they actually, what we find is that iDonate fundraisers will have a higher average rate, okay? And that's what we've seen. Um, any platform that is not Facebook, that is off Facebook, actually raises more, more. So you have this thing where you have, it's great that iDonate fundraisers raise more, but they actually have a lower active activation rate. If if I can just show what, what I'll show you, we haven't our iDonate integration is in, incredibly new. Um, so at the time of this recording of this video, we literally launched it. Um, uh, it's Monday today, and we launched it on Friday evening to, to a couple of Irish charities, and it's going out for general release today. Let me show you um, what we've learned in the UK with our Just Giving integration, which is a proxy for the iDonate integration. It's going to be very, very similar. We've done it in exactly the same way, and we think it's going to get very, very similar results. 
So I'll explain this difference between activation rate and average raised using Just Giving. So this is a mid-sized cancer charity, 10,000 steps in February, a classic Facebook challenge. What you can see on the left here is that the activation, active fundraiser percentage from Just Giving was about 35%, whereas the active fundraisers from, from uh, Facebook was just shy of 45%. So more fundraisers were active on, on Facebook. However, when you switch over to average raised, the average raised was almost double on, on Just Giving than it was on Facebook, so a lot, lot higher. And the reason for that, I think, is that people can then can go and fundraise and share well beyond Facebook. You don't have to have a Facebook account to make to make a donation. You don't have to log in to make a donation. You can just do that. So you can share on WhatsApp or email and fundraisers share can share beyond Facebook, which kind of makes sense. That's why the high this higher average raised. OK, so that's interesting. So we can now take these two data sets and combine them and come up with an adjusted average raised depending on our activation rate. And for this event, we can see that actually when you adjust the average raised for the activation rate, you can see that Just Giving actually raised a lot more than Facebook because it had such a higher average raised, but not that much smaller activation rate. You can see that Just Giving was actually better than Facebook in this in instance. Interestingly, um, given the choice within a Facebook group, pretty much 50% chose Just Giving and 50% chose, chose Facebook. So there, for this for this particular event, you can see um, that, you know, that, that not doing your fundraising on Facebook is actually slightly more popular than doing it on Facebook, even though you're in Facebook. So people, you know, really do, um, you know, they, they, they know the Just Giving brand in the UK, just like people in Ireland know the iDonate brand as well. And so in summary, um, the only thing that has changed about the funnel for Facebook challenges is simply where the fundraiser sits. The ads, the leads, the groups, everything else is the same. But so the, what, so really what it comes down to is what's the difference between iDonate and Facebook fundraising? iDonate has a higher average raise than Facebook fundraising, which is really, really good. Um, you can extend your campaign to other channels like Instagram with better results as well. And... Uh, the main thing you're going to need to focus on is activation rates using, using your stewardship journey. So if you can get that activation rate anywhere near the, f the previous Facebook fundraising activation rate, you're actually going to be raising more money than using Facebook fundraising in the past, which we're super excited about. OK, so on to the next video.